Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about, as you can tell by the title, nursing school essentials. So if you're interested to see what you need for nursing school or like the other videos you just want to see my face, then keep on watching. So to start off, I'm talking about a planner. They are so helpful to me. I color coordinate everything. So whether it's, you know, appointments, payments, my payday, it's my favorite day, um, and anything personal, things like that. This is one of my months. So as you can see, the purple is my clinicals, the highlighted blue is exams, um, and then the yellow is like my class days, things like that. Here's another one. Like I said, purple is clinicals. But yeah, like as you can tell, I use my planner a lot and I have it color coordinated too, just so I know. But they're always really helpful for me um, just to figure out my life, just because you know, sometimes in nursing school, you're definitely gonna have times where it's really hectic. So you want to keep it organized. The next thing I recommend colored pens. I have so many of these and the reason I say that is you know when you're in anatomy and physiology um, learning about all the systems it's really good to like draw out the system and figure out where everything is and then color coordinate everything it's just really handy to have different colors in your um, kit just so you know if you need to label something or anything of that sort or you need to point out that something's different from another definitely Color pens is a must. Next thing, Mosby's Anatomy and Physiology Study and Review Cards. They have questions on the front about muscles and things and then answers in the back. They're color coded too, so um, this is the sense of organ. It's cells and tissues, so there's a graph and then it tells you everything about the graph. It was like $30, but it was definitely worth it. You can use it to study with your friends. You can go 50-50 on it just because I know when you're in nursing school, you're a little tight on money. But yeah, I definitely recommend these if you're struggling in anatomy and physiology. The one thing you learn in nursing school is to save your back. If you put too much strain on your back, you're going to hurt your back. And you need your back for your career. So, the last thing for the in-class portion of nursing school that I would definitely 100% recommend, um, it's a little tacky, but a rolling backpack. We're throwing it back to like third grade. I'm not talking about this type of rolling backpack. I'm carrying all these books around and I'm too young to hurt my back, I'm only 21. But this is it and um, See the wheels comes up really high. So it opens like that and then you have all your storage space right here. Definitely the number one reason is it saves your back. On to the fun stuff. We're gonna go ahead and talk about things that I think are essential for clinicals. So usually schools will tell you they provide you with a stethoscope. What they don't tell you is they provide you with a really crappy stethoscope. So the number one thing I suggest everyone to do is go out and buy your own stethoscope. I have the Lipman one. They do have cheaper ones on like Amazon and stuff that I know one of my friends got one from Amazon for like $20. This one was like $100. It's the all black with like the colorful bell. But yeah, and then it switches so you can turn it to listen to um, harder to hear sounds and then the normal one. But you definitely need a better one just because, I mean, the one my school provided was horrible. It was like the worst one ever. You can live with it. This is not a necessity. Um, this isn't like a you won't make it through nursing school without it. But the ones my school provided were horrible. And when I finally got this one, I was like, oh, that's what a murmur sounds like. If you have the funds, this definitely helps and you can hear a lot better. Oh, my, my leg is going numb. Next is a pen light. This came in a pack of two and it was six dollars. You need it for when you're doing your like the little assessments and things like that, checking pupils. When you're assessing like the throw or the ear, you know, just the assessment in general. So when you're in nursing school, you usually can't have anything with you and then you have to haul around all your paperwork, all your papers, things to do your care plan, things like that. But I saw people in my um, cohort having it and I thought it was such a good buy. 
So this made it really helpful. Who tried to talk to me? So this looks obviously not this part, but this looks like an ordinary clipboard, right? Well, when you're in clinicals and you're trying to do things and you're like, oh, let me put my clipboard down somewhere so I can do something. No, honey. You just fit it in your pocket. And the good part too is it actually has stuff that you need to know as a nurse. So your pupil sizes, ABG gases, what type of IVs, the gauge sizes and what they're used for, places for your um, IM injections. Um, how to tell your lab values. Um, it also has how to tell if someone's going septic or they have sepsis. Your face chart for pain, how to read your EKGs, conversions, and things like that. But this was very, very, very helpful. So I would invest in one of these. Um, and I'll link this one down below as well as all the other stuff I'm talking about. The last thing I'm gonna talk about is um, little index cards to put on your badge. This one is by Tribe RN. So they're just little cards. So these one talks about like heart rhythms. Um, this is talking about your lab values again and it tells you all normal ranges and things. The front and back. So these are things that are important. But yeah, these were really helpful. I got them as a gift, but they're just, it's just a really um, convenient thing to have. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. If you feel like there's any other necessities for nursing school or you have any questions or there's any other content you'd like to see, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.